You might be asked to calculate the size of a file based on a few different factors. And it could be that you're asked to calculate the size of a text file. It could be that you're calculating the size of a sound file, or it could be an image file. No matter what you're doing, there's one big rule that you can follow, which is just this, multiply everything together apart from metadata. If you remember that rule, then you really won't go too wrong, okay? You really can't go too wrong with calculating file size if you're multiplying everything together apart from metadata, which you just then add on to the end. I'm gonna show you how to calculate a few different file sizes. We're gonna start, uh, start off very sort of straightforward um, and then we'll sh throw in a few different wrinkles. What I'll say, just a little bit of exam technique, and it's hard to sort of separate this kind of, uh, this topic from exam technique is to read the question because the question is going to be so important it's going to be um asking you to give the answer in a particular uh unit of measurement and that is going to be critical so let's just say um i'm going to write a, a pretend question here so calculate the size of a text file with 32 bits per character so let's assume we're dealing with unicode there uh which is 20 characters long okay Look at the characters video. If you don't know how we can end up with 32 bits per character, it'll give you a bit of a clue how that works. Well, how do I do this? Well, it's very simple, straightforward now. I'm doing 32 because uh, I've got 32 bits, and that's key, bits. I'm dealing with bits here, um, times by 20 because it's 20 characters long. You will not have a calculator in a computer science exam, so that is something that you need to bear in mind. Um, so I'm going to work this out just as you would do in a normal sort of maths paper by hand. Uh, so zero doesn't do anything as we know, but then we've got two times two, so that's four, and two times three, so 640 bits. And it's important that we know the bits, okay? The bit which I'm missing here is it will say something like, give your answer in bits. And I'm going to leave that as bits for now. You might not be asked to do bits, but I'm going to leave it as bits because that's going to be like the easiest kind of question you're going to get. Okay, so size of a text file, 32 bits character, 20 characters long, multiply it by two, boom, 640 bits, all done. Next one we're going to cover is images then. So let's write a slightly different question here. Oh, that was a lot of writing, so I'll speed this up for you. Um, and I'm going to underline the really important bits here. So calculate the size of an image with a color depth of four bits. Bits, I'm dealing with bits here. Height of 12 pixels and width of 20 pixels. There are four bytes of metadata. Give your answer, and this is really important, in bytes, because I can see that happening. Give your answer in bytes. All right, how do we unpick this? So color depth of four, height of 12, and width of, pic uh, width of 20 pixels. What do we do there? Yes, we multiply them all together. So four times by 12, that's going to be 48, isn't it? Then times that by 20, and you're going to end up with 960 bits okay 960 bits because the we're dealing with bits when we're talking about color depth okay but we want the answer in bytes and we haven't dealt with the metadata so how do we convert bits to bytes well we divide it by eight because there are eight bits in a byte so 960 uh, divided by eight again you're going to need to do this like you would do in maths so you've got uh, that goes into there once that's going to leave you with one left over that goes into there twice that's nice and simple uh, 120 bytes. Still need to deal with the metadata. Four bytes of metadata. So I've got 120 bytes plus four. So I'm not multiplying the metadata. I'm just adding it on. That is therefore 124 bytes. So that's how I calculate uh, an image file which has got metadata in. It might not have metadata in. The question might be asking you to give it in bits rather than bytes. But now you know what to do if you end up with, with, with them adding metadata in or end up with uh, and them asking you to do it in bytes. You just need to do the conversions as you'd expect and add any metadata on. Okay, so that's images. Sound then. This is going to just show how um, if... If you get a question around sound, then you're dealing with much larger numbers usually. I'm going to do a, uh, a what would be a pretty awful quality sound file, but we're still dealing with fairly big numbers. So, so calculate the size of a five second sound file with a bit depth of 16. So we're taking 16, uh, so our, each sample is going to be 16 bits large and a sample rate of 8,000. So, you know, typical sample rates for sound files, 8,000 if it's really poor quality, 44,000 if it's okay quality, I've chosen 8,000 just to try and keep things simple. What do we do? Yeah, multiply them all together. But give your answer in kilobytes. That is going to be something that we're going to have to deal with, isn't it? So um, five times by 16, then let's do that first. That is going to be 80. So then I've got that times by 8,000. 
So that's going to be uh, what's going to be 64,000, that isn't it? So now I'm dealing with 64,000 bits. Okay, so again, I'm dealing with bits here, aren't I? Because this is a uh, bit depth of 16. Uh, how many bytes have I got? 64,000 divided by 8. So we've got all the 8s going on here. So uh, 0 into there, 64 there. That's going to be 8 again. Uh, so now I've got 8,000 bytes. So how do I work that out in kilobytes, which is what I'm asked for, uh, which is what I've been asked for? Well, I need to know, obviously, the, this, how this goes. So I've got bits, then I've got bytes, then I've got kilobytes, then I've got megabytes and stuff like that. And it goes, goes up from there. And each one of these, from bytes to megabytes, uh, and from kilobytes to megabytes, there are 1,000 of the previous units. So what I'm saying is that 8,000 bytes is, if I divide that by 1,000, then I've got my number of kilobytes, which obviously will be eight kilobytes. So that is how I would answer that question. That's probably as, uh, as complicated. I was I hope you were going to get it, uh, get a question on this, and you should be covered now. So if you remember, you for images and sound and characters, all you really need to do is multiply everything together apart from metadata. You add that on, and then really you're just looking at what are you giving the answer and is it asking you to give it in bits is it asking you to give it in bytes or something else and you do whatever you need to divide it by eight or divide it by a thousand uh, as appropriate that's how you calculate file sizes if you found that video useful please hit the like button and hit subscribe to the channel keep learning and revising more computer science by clicking on the videos linked here